river green ants that fell out of a broken nest a wing. Bing wing give them quick mobility and wide area access, which may have huge implications in or near rainforests. These are green ant nests on my pink noni fruit. The black sooty mole on the fruit and leaf is caused by scale insects such as mealybugs and also aphids which produce sweet secretions. The ants like these sweet secretions and the green ants protect these insects. The scale insects and aphids suck the saps from the pink noni plant. The green ants are aggressive. The beehive is situated in the rainforest in North Queensland, Australia. You will see how aggressive, smart and strong these viva green ants are. The ants catch the bees near the hive and also catch them from a vine as the bees fly onto the hive. These bees do sting and are also aggressive once they smell you. Watch the bottom of the hanging vine where the ants are waiting to catch a flying bee. They will catch one mid-flight as it approaches the hive. Once they grab the bee, more ants will get into the act to quickly subdue the bee. You will notice on the vine and on the tree trunk there are several bees already caught by the vivo ants. The bee on the vine can only flap its wing as it is held in a tight grip. There is not much the bee can do as its fate is sealed. The green river ants work very efficiently together and are also fearless. The green river ant will keep biting the bee until it is dead. They will then carry the whole dead bee to their leaf nest, which may be some distance away. The river ants on the vine are alert and ready to catch more bees. There is a bee on the trunk of the tree being killed by the green ants. Notice on the top left near the vine, a weaver ant tried to catch the bee, but before the ant can get help, another bee seems to help this threatened bee, and this bee managed to buzz away. There are two bees on the tree trunk to watch for, about 50 to 60 percent up the screen near the back of the vine on the tree trunk. One bee is being caught by the rear ants. He managed to fly away, dazed, but unfortunately it buzzed itself onto the river ants on the vine, which grabs and subdues it. In the background, in the same area, watch one river ant that had caught a bee hang onto it for over 31 seconds. That is endurance. During this mighty tussle, the second river ant did not seem to try too hard to latch onto the bee, so it was of no real help for once. The bee this time being stronger eventually flies off with the river ant. If the bee is able to sting the river ant, apparently the bee dies. The river green ants are still killing the bee caught on the vine. The bees are probably the invasive Asian honeybee. I have really noticed less bees on my pink noni fruit trees when the fruit have flowers now that the green vivo ants have taken over the pink noni trees with their nests. Lots of bees, but the green vivo ants are not afraid to attack the bees as we have seen. The paper wasps used to have hives under some of the leaves of the pink noni fruit, but the green vivo ants have driven them away. The small, more vulnerable native stingless bees look to have no chance if of survival if attacked by the green river ants or non-native invasive bees. Unless you can control the river green ants, I would suggest that you do without them. I have been bitten and attacked by the green river ants when I'm near my pink noni trees. I used to get stung by the paper wasp, but I prefer the wasp to the green river ants. The river green ants have been useful biologically and for food to a number of people in some parts of the world. Under no circumstances, however, should they be introduced to areas they are not native to, especially in or near the rainforest where they will be hard to control. Obviously, more research is required to see what real impact they might have on native bees, wasps and other beneficial creatures they prey on.